your ruler. Salt. Your lands, your possessions, your very lives will gladly be given in tribute to me. What's up, everybody? We're gonna check out the uh, casting news for Wolverine uh, and Cyclops and the X Men being introduced to the MCU. Apparently, there's casting news. And they have to decide good because how are you going to top Hugh Jackman? Like James Marsden, eh? Anybody can anybody can be Cyclops. James Marsden didn't really make it iconic, but Hugh Jackman made Wolverine iconic. So you have to do a good job in the recasting. So anyways, let's jump into it. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm your host Warren Thompson and Marvel Studios released so much at San Diego Comic-Con. We had a lot of announcements for new movies including two new Avengers movies, a new Captain America, the Thunderbolts, a Daredevil series that is going to be 18 episodes long, but out of all of that we did not get any sort of announcement for the X-Men. And this was pretty disappointing for a lot of fans, however we do have Disney's D23 day coming up in a couple of months. So there there is always hope that they're saving that big reveal for D23. However, today we might have a pretty good idea of when the mutants slash X-Men might actually be hitting the MCU. And we also might have an idea of one of the actors that could be playing an so X-Men. This actor has spoken up openly and publicly about meeting with Marvel Studios and talking about playing a character for the X-Men. However, there could be some good news and bad news that comes with that as well as when the X-Men are going to actually hit the MCU. But I will break down everything that you need to know in this video. Now right away, let's talk about a report that has come out recently stating that Marvel Studios cannot even do the X-Men in the MCU until 2025, it's which weird sounds how crazy. They always, now technically they does, can, I gotta however pause there's- it. Isn't it weird like how almost every different illustration has Wolverine's claws completely different? In some, in some drawings, his claws are straight. Just completely straight. In some drawings, his claws are separated, right? And, and they angle outwards. In some drawings, um, like I've seen, in some, they come out of his knuckles. Logically, though, like logically, the only way it would make sense is if they come between the knuckles. They can't, they can't come out of the knuckles, they have to come between the knuckles. So it would be right here, right here, and right here. They would have to come... Obviously his wrist would have to be straight. He'd have to have a straight wrist while he's doing it. He'd have to keep his wrist straight. Like, maybe when he... Maybe when he does it, it automatically shoots his wrist straight. Like it automatically pushes his wrist straight. And then they'd have to come out right here in between that knuckle in between this knuckle in between that knuckle and another that's what would make sense for it to come out right there and then spread out that's what would make the most sense but that's how it is in the movies but I, I was, I've been rewatching the X-Men movies it's like dude Every movie, it's always this. They come out the same, but they they can't they can't keep his his blades looking the same every movie. I was noticing like in in Days of Future Past, there's like this weird flat spot on the end of his blade where it's like like looks like it's flattened, and it's like uh, you know. Whereas in X Men Origins, it's just a, it's it's a curved, smooth blade all the way up, and there's no flat spot. And then, and the same, there's so many little variations in how the blades look through every movie, through X Men Origins, through uh, Wolverine, through X Men Origins Wolverine, through the Wolverine, through the original X Men movies. Every one is slightly different. Like, can't you just look at the past? Go to the past movie's props, pick it up, and recreate it. Why are you changing it so differently 
Like, why are, you, why are you making these little variations? It's like, I don't know, man. Anyways, back into it. Some of the old actors and characters from the Fox X-Men franchise, which obviously they don't really want to do unless it's in some type of a multiverse manner. And I know this may freak some people out, but don't worry, everything is okay. I'll explain why, but first let's talk about this report. According to Devin Faraki, former editor-in-chief of Birth, Movies, Death, and current co-host of Marvel Vision, 20th Century Fox's contractual obligations to actors in the X-Men franchise have carried over to Disney slash Marvel and are in effect until 2025. This means Marvel cannot recast, announce, or enter production on a film that includes roles held by some, if not all, of the most recent principal actors in the Fox X-Men franchise. Deadpool 3 and Xavier in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness are they exempt all, because they are the original the actors playing the roles. Now, after this report came dude. out, the Illuminati came out and they extremely said that they did some digging Rogue, and they Storm, discovered that actors are not the Jean only Grey, ones that have a standing contract tying them to the X-Men. According to their sources, Marvel is holding off on the X-Men because the producers of Fox's X-Men films oh are gosh, still Mystique? attached via contract Mystique? as well. Oh. And now it's starting to make sense that Disney and Marvel would not want to do the x-men soon because they want to recast all of these characters but they also don't want you any see of right Fox's there people you involved. see right there so basically it's not the concern of right having there you actors saw that, come that, back that and image? play the roles of the x-men it's really the, that drives me nuts like the visual effects person it, it's like they got lazy you can always tell the scenes um where he's actually holding the actual prop and he's and it and it it goes between his fingers, and he's holding the clasp in the in the he ha, he holds the clasp right here, and he closes his fingers on top of it, and it's an actual prop. You can always tell the difference versus the scene where it's CGI added in because that person just CGI added it in was lazy, and they had it coming out of the wrong spot. It was supposed to be coming out of the knuckle, out in between, not out of the knuckle, but in between the knuckles, and they had it coming out of, out of the knuckle. If you, if you rewind and pause it, you'll see what I'm talking about. That's lazy CGI, dude. Wait for from the people who made the Fox X-Men movies. Which, if you've seen most too, of the so recent Fox X-Men movies, you definitely understand. Also, not to mention, these people at Fox have no connection to the MCU whatsoever. They have had no involvement in creating anything in the MCU. So they're really not in the know, and they're really kind of Look just not Psylocke. a part of the family, unfortunately. Now, this might seem like right some there. pretty bad news. However, I don't think this has stopped Marvel Studios from trying to cast who they actually want. Because if this is true, this just means that they can't make a movie until 2025 it doesn't mean that they can't start preparing for the movie to happen in 2025 and also keep in mind yes we are hearing about this but nobody ever truly knows 100 percent what is really happening contractually behind the scenes with some studios like to this day we still don't know what the actual contract between sony and disney slash marvel is with spider-man we have an idea but we don't fully know and it has been revealed recently that taron egerton has actually met with marvel studios about playing an x now, fans have been fan casting him to play the new Wolverine for years now. Now, he's a phenomenal actor. He's got a lot of range from Kingsman to no. Eddie the Eagle to when he played no. Elton John. Amazing no. actor, and I nope. actually do think that he would be nope. a very good Wolverine. Nope. However, of course he, he actually met with Marvel Studios about playing Cyclops, would. and he actually revealed this himself. Take a look at this clip. Collapsed though? Is that true? That I, I yeah I don't mind saying that was a that was a real thing. There was okay. a real conversation. Okay. And um, to be honest, I've never said this actually. To be honest, the reason that conversation never went any further is because I I don't I didn't want to I didn't want to play a character for a potential of ser a series of movies okay. where you don't see my eyes. For me, that yeah. hmm. that's I I didn't I felt instinctively creatively. That, that like the eyes are the windows to the soul mm. i don't know how i would find that challenging and i just didn't find it an intriguing prospect so it's not that they ever offered it to me but there was a conversation a real conversation that never went any further wow i, I respect 
So Taron Egerton had talks with Marvel Studios about playing Cyclops. Now, right away, I just want to say that just because he kind of turned down the role of Cyclops does not mean that he may not play an X-Men and still could even possibly play Wolverine. He and he does say more Wolverine. about meeting with Marvel oh Studios gosh. and what's Dude, how can you say that he would be a good Wolverine? He's not. He, he, he no, no, he can't be Wolverine. He can't be Wolverine. I don't care how much older he gets. He can't be Wolverine. Specific. I don't know. He no, I do he met know. He's, with Marvel he's Studios four years ago, which is actually a, a really good be sign because cast. if Marvel Studios can't make movies about the X-Men or mutants until 2025, then why would they be meeting with actors in 2018? Perhaps they're just preparing way in advance, but here's what Taron Egerton had to say about possibly playing Wolverine. He says, I made the mistake of saying that I had a general meeting at Marvel Studios around four years ago, which is true, but it got kind of spun and twisted into this thing. So I'm now at a point where, cause look, I've always said, I don't know if I'm the right guy to play that part. I was with Hugh Jackman yesterday, briefly, who obviously played the role originally. We're such different vibes. I don't know if I would be the right person to follow him, but I've always said I would be open to it. But at the moment, there's no truth other than the fan casting thing, which goes kind of crazy every time I mention it, but you know, who knows? However, he does go on to say that he would love to be in the MCU. Listen to this. He says, so the reality is that there's been a lot of fan casting for it, and I took a general meeting with Marvel Studios' president, Kevin Feige, about four years ago where I said it would be, I love the movies. I would love to do something, and he said it would be great if we could find something. And Taron Egerton says, I walked away and haven't spoken to him since. I check my emails every five minutes, but there's no, there was never, in fact, there was a character that I mentioned in that meeting, but it wasn't that one. So that puts it into some perspective. So there's no truth, no reality to it, but you know, I'd love to be a part. I'm a fan of those movies. Now, the character that he mentioned in that meeting was, of course, Cyclops, which he turned down because he didn't want his eyes to be covered the whole time. And there is still a chance that he could play Wolverine. Because yes, Hugh Jackman was iconic, and yes, they are a little bit different than each other, but you can't simply look to replace Hugh a Jackman. Meaning you can't get on, somebody dude. to try and be the exact same Wolverine. It just won't work because everybody will always compare him to Hugh Jackman. The Wolverine that we get has to be different. And if that's what Mark Marvel Studios decides they want to go with, it could be Taron. And who knows if he's actually telling the truth here. Of course, he's not going to come out and say, oh yeah, totally. I talked to Kevin Feige. I'm going to be Wolverine. It's going to be fantastic. The movie's coming in late 2025. I wish he could say that, but there's absolutely no way. So he could have already actually signed with Marvel Studios to play some X-Men, maybe even Wolverine. We won't know until the official cast is announced. Now, like I said, if these contractual obligations are true and Marvel can't make a movie until 2025, it doesn't mean that they can't start working on the cast, working on the script, working on the movie in general. In fact, Marvel's Phase 6 slate has five movie slots or Disney Plus slots that don't have a title to them yet. One of these could indeed be the X-Men. And the rest of Phase 5 is already filled anyways, so even if it can't come out until 2025, it's really not that much longer than we would have had to wait because it would have been late 2024 at the earliest. I'm not so even if you've heard this, this video. I'm just, I, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have the energy to finish this video. Um, I figured there was going to be some like casting news that was actually to comment on, but there's, there's no casting news. It's a bunch of speculation. I'll finish, it's probably almost over, so I'm going to go ahead and really finish it anyways. But affect the X-Men that much, it only this might mean stupid. the X-Men might actually come after Secret Wars, and they would start off our new saga. It could be blah, 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 the Mutant blah, 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 Saga. Blah, blah. We'll have to there's wait and no, see, but no maybe news, we'll see, see Taron Egerton playing an oh, X-Men, possibly maybe this, even maybe Wolverine. That, maybe, maybe, Let maybe. me know what you think about this. Would you like him to play Who Wolverine, or do you see him playing somebody... Dude, he doesn't even, it's over. He, it doesn't even look like the same. The last thing I remember him in was um, um, Kingsman and Kingsman 2. And he doesn't even look like the same dude anymore. Because that was years ago. Um, and a bunch of blind speculation for a terrible, terrible miscasting. You need a gruff dude. With, you need a gruff dude. Uh, he doesn't, like, 
you know you need a gruff dude you need a gruff hairy dude like Hugh Jackman right he can be different he can be short like Wolverine is supposed to be but he still has to be gruff and he still has to be hairy and and burly not boyish looking like I'll, I wouldn't even be a good Wolverine probably probably not but anyways I'm gonna end the video here thanks for watching uh, peace out guys